Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to do page 7 and 8 on zero and negative exponents. I absolutely love problems with zero and negative exponents, especially zero exponents because whenever zero is in the exponent, the answer is 1. Negative exponents, you just rewrite them as a positive exponent in the denominator. So here we have simplify 100 to the zero power. Anything to the zero power is 1. And it says, write this as an expression without a negative exponent. Well, negative 32, sorry, to the negative second would be the same as negative 32 to the second power. And so that is my answer. 1 over negative 32 to the second power. Now, if you happen to have said 1 over 32 squared, turns out you are correct also because a negative times a negative is a positive. It says write this with a negative exponent. Well, I don't know if we showed you any examples, but if you have a positive exponent in the denominator, it would be the same as having a negative exponent in the numerator. It says compare 8 to the 0 and 8 to the negative 2. Well, 8 to the 0 is 1. 8 to the negative 2 is going to be 1 over 8 squared, which is 1 over 64. So 8 to the 0 would be much greater than 8 to the negative 2, because 1 64th is a very small number, because 1 is greater than 1 over 64. It says simplify 12 to the 0 times 12 to the 6th. Well, there's a couple ways I can do this. One, I know that 12 to the 0 is just 1, um, so my answer is 12 to the 6th. But also, if you remember the rules we learned before, that you can just add the exponents. I can get 0 plus 6. All right. And so that's another way of proving that. What is the value of x? Well, we know that anything to the 0 power is 1, so x is 0 because everything, anything raised to 0 power is 1. I love that rule. Write an expression using exponents that is equivalent to each of the following expressions. Well, again, we know that if there's a negative exponent, it means 1 over 5 to the positive 3. Here, we know this would be 1 over negative 16 to the positive 2. If you said 1 over 16 squared, you are also correct. Here, 1 over 8 to the 4th would be the same as having a negative exponent in the numerator. Simplify the expression 52 to the negative 5. We know that that is the same as 1 over 52 to the positive 5. To write that as a repeated multiplication, well, this is the same as saying 1 over 52 times 1 over 52 times 1 over 52 times 1 over 52 times 1 over 52. Write an exp exponential expression that is equivalent to 4 to the 14th raised to the negative 2. Well, I know this one is kind of tricky. One of the things I do know is that I can do this a couple different ways. I know that a power raised to a power would be 4 to the 14 times negative 2, which is 4 to the negative 28. And so I then would put 4 to the positive 28 on the denominator. Is 6 to the negative 2 positive or negative? Well, I know 6 to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over 6 squared, which is also 1 over 36, which is positive. In fact, these when you have a positive base, you will never have 
a negative number. It says write these from order from least to greatest. 9 to the 0 equals 1. 9 to the 3rd is a very big number, which is bigger than 1. 9 to the negative 2 is 1 over 9 squared, which is less than 1. So, of course, my smallest number is 9 to the negative 2, then it would be 9 to the 0, and then it would be 9 to the 3, or 9 thirds. Lisbeth says that negative 12 to the negative 3 equals a positive number because the product of two negative integers is a positive integer. Do I agree? Use what you know about exponential expressions to explain. Well, I know that negative 12 to the negative 3 is the same as 1 over negative 12 to the third power. And if I do what I did over here with the repeated multiplication, I know that that is the same as 1 over negative 12 times 1 over negative 12, in fact I'll use parentheses, times 1 over negative 12. I know that a negative times a negative is a positive, and then a positive times a negative is a negative. So I know that this is going to be exactly the same thing as a negative 1 over 12 to the third power. So it turns out I disagree with I disagree. Negative, negative 12 to the negative third is negative because multi a negative number multiplied by itself by odd number of times is negative. I, um, I hope you this helped you understand this lesson. Let me know if you have any questions.